Antoine Griezmann had a stellar night to lead Atletico Madrid to the Europa League trophy. Relive this and much more, including PSG's new manager, the Chicago Fire missing out on a transfer target and the rest of the best from the week in soccer. Antoine Griezmann had a stellar night to lead Atletico Madrid to the Europa League trophy. Relive this and much more, including PSG's new manager, the Chicago Fire missing out on a transfer target and the rest of the best from the week in soccer. See more videos whether or not Wednesday night was the end, Antoine Griezmann made sure it was his night to shine the briest. This midweek, the Frenchman led Atletico to European glory, PSG brought on their next manager out of his sabbatical and the Chicago Fire missed out on another World Cup winner. All this and much more in the latest midweek edition of 90 Minutes Top 5.1. La Nute d'Antoine Major Hittage, Getty Images Antoine Griezmann of Atletico Madrid celebrates after scoring his team's second goal of the game during the UEFA Europa League final between Olympique de Marseille and club Atletico de Madrid. Antoine Griezmann of Atletico Madrid celebrates after scoring his team's second goal of the game during the UEFA Europa League final between Olympique de Marseille and club Atletico de Madrid. Major hitage, Getty images the prodigal son returned home to shine under the bright lights in Lyon. Antoine Griezmann had himself a night in his home country, leading Atletico Madrid to their third Europa League title with a brace against Marseille on Wednesday. For as many European finals as Atletico has played, Griezmann incredibly had never won a continental title with a Colchona Russ. But on Wednesday night, he made sure the Europa League title was coming back with him. The Lion final seemed like a such a microcosm of Atletico's, shaky to begin with, not inspiring much confidence, but in one, sudden event became the best version of Atletico. Marseille managed to the Atletico resistance for the better part of 20 minutes, until two events shook the game for good, Steve Mandanda's gift to Antoine Griezmann for the first goal and Dimitri Payet's injury. From then on, it was Diego Simon's Atletico at its finest, neutralizing the French side at every turn and taking advantage of the chances it found. It was the side everyone expected in the Champions League group stage, the one that took second place in La Liga. As for Griezmann, he could not have gone his entire Atletico career without a major trophy. Will it be his last with the club too? Tuchel Tuffburn Thisesen, AFP, Getty Images Former Borussia Dortmund Head Coach Thomas Tuchel Former Borussia Dortmund Head Coach Thomas Tuchel Burn Thisesen, AFP, Getty Images Enter the new person to go under the Parisian microscope, Thomas Tuchel after a long absence, the German manager returns to coaching by taking the reins of none other than the embattled PSG this week, as the French club continues their quest for the elusive European glory. Tuchel enters a situation more filled with challenges than potential of PSG, on and off the field. Let's start with the obvious one, the Champions League shortcomings. All the money PSG has thrown around in the last few has proven to do nothing to get the team over the hump, simply because money is not the problem. It all comes down to a lack of mental toughness in a team that collapses under the pressure of European soccer. Then there is also the Maymar problem, and that will determine greatly how Tuchel will fare in this new adventure. Unai Emery said it best, Maymar rules that locker room, whether the manager like it or not. If Tuchel can establish his authority in the powder keg of a locker room, PSG will be a better team for it. Last but not least Tuchel signs on, with a club facing some serious financial fair play danger, meaning the club should undergo somewhat of a fire sale in order to avoid sanctions, which could hurt in terms of depth. Will Tuchel be forced to rely on the club's youth? All these questions will be answered in due time, but the outlook today is less than encouraging for PSG's new boss.3. Chasing the Dragon Francisco Leon, AFP, Getty Images Porto's Spanish goalkeeper Ica Casillas signed a contract extension with the club, ending any possibility of joining the Chicago Fire this summer. Porto's Spanish goalkeeper Ica Casillas signed a contract extension with the club, ending any possibility of joining the Chicago Fire this summer. Francisco Leon, AFP, Getty Images erase one of the big World Cup winners from the Chicago Fire's shopping list. Veteran goalkeeper Ica Casillas is officially off the market for the upcoming summer transfer window after signing a one-year deal with Porto, thus taking himself out of the running to come to the Chicago Fire. In terms of big names, this is another swing and a miss for a franchise that still struggles to draw in terms of box office, even with the presence of someone like Bastian Schweinsteiger.
In terms of the roster, the Fyada miss out on a treasure chest of experience and high-level play, but at a position where an acquisition is not needed. Yes, it goes without saying that Casillas would have been an upgrade over Richard Sanchez. However, Sanchez has proven to be capable of being a starting goalkeeper in MLS, and shown the potential to become very good if not great defending the fire goal. If the 2018 has proven anything in terms of roster makeup, it is the undeniable fact that Chicago is in dire need to reinforcements, but not at goalkeeper. The significant investment that would have been made for Casillas can be better spent in an experienced central defender, a playmaking attacking midfielder, or even a speedy chance of pace winger. Point four. Trust the process Patrick Stollarz, AFP, Getty Images Joachim Lowe, head coach of the German national football team. Joachim Lowe, head coach of the German national football team. Patrick Stollarz, AFP, Getty Images lost in all the roster reveals for the World Cup has been the big news coming out of Germany regarding their manager. On the same day of the Mannschaft's provisional roster announcement, Joachim Lowe announced he signed a contract to extension to remain the German national team manager through the 2022 World Cup. Lowe had been widely rumoured for several club vacancies like Arsenal, Bayern Munich and Real Madrid, but the World Cup winner will remain and make more history with Germany. Should Lowe see out his new contract no reason to think otherwise, he will become the longest tenured manager in the illustrious history of the German national team over names like Sepp Herberger and Helmut Schorn. In addition, Lowe will have two shots at surpassing Schorn's success by winning a second World Cup in 2018 or 2022, or the elusive Euro, which the Germans have not won since 1996 in England. More importantly, low staying means the continuation of a long, successful development process in German soccer, producing player after player, team after successful team with no gaps in between generations. Point five. Goal of the week The US. La Ligue's once again provided another hidden gem this week worthy of every highlight reel there is out there. This time, the National Premier Soccer League's New York Cosmos B player Rafael Garcia produced this absolute bomb from the center of the pitch to the collective dismay of the Brooklyn Italians, and the surprise of everyone watching. Kylie and Mbappe and Christian Pulisic are among the top 98 players born since 1998, according to Italian newspaper Gazzetta dello Sport. Check out the top 25. Juan Pimento Caption Chicago Fire Head Coach Velko Paunovic speaks about Dax McCarty's and Matt Polster's injury and how it will impact the team ahead of the Fire's game against the Houston Dynamo this Sunday, May 20, courtesy Chicago Fire. Chicago Fire Head Coach Velko Paunovic speaks about Dax McCarty's and Matt Polster's injury and how it will impact the team ahead of the Fire's game against the Houston Dynamo this Sunday, May 20, courtesy Chicago Fire. Caption Antoine Griezmann had a stellar night to lead Atletico Madrid to the Europa League trophy. Relive this and much more, including PSG's new manager, the Chicago Fire missing out on a transfer target and the rest of the best from the week in soccer. Antoine Griezmann had a stellar night to lead Atletico Madrid to the Europa League trophy. Relive this and much more, including PSG's new manager, the Chicago Fire missing out on a transfer target and the rest of the best from the week in soccer. Caption Chicago Fire head coach Velko Paunovic spoke about his team's loss in their visit to the Columbus crew on Saturday, May 12, lamenting the chances wasted and the number of injuries in his roster courtesy Chicago Fire. Chicago Fire head coach Velko Paunovic spoke about his team's loss in their visit to the Columbus crew on Saturday, May 12, lamenting the chances wasted and the number of injuries in his roster courtesy Chicago Fire. Caption The Chicago Fire bounced back with a win over the week, Tottenham clinched their Champions League spot while putting Liverpool in danger, the latest big name on his way to MLS and more of the best of the week in soccer The Chicago Fire bounced back with a win over the week, Tottenham clinched their Champions League spot while putting Liverpool in danger, the latest big name on his way to MLS and more of the best of the week in soccer Caption The German mild fielder of the Chicago Fire, Bastian Schweinsteiger, speaks after losing 2-1 against Atlanta United on Saturday May 5 at Toyota Park, the German mild fielder of the Chicago Fire, Bastian Schweinsteiger, speaks after losing 2-1 against Atlanta United on Saturday, May 5 at Toyota Park. Contact the reporter Joan Sebastian Pimento at gmail.com at Pimento Football.